Hey guys, it's another one of my homemade guns. So if you're new to my channel, don't be very mean. This is, I built this gun about 15 years ago. If you want to see some of my newer models, check some other videos. Uh, this is one of the oldest guns I still have. It still shoots. I said I probably built it about 15 years ago. Uh, you probably recognize a couple parts from it. Uh, it's like an H&K or a Set Me Trigger Group. Um, it is a straight pull um, action. Uh, the, the bolt locks in the receiver. There's one on the other side. Uh, and it does take, uh, it's a 9mm, forgot to mention that. It does take uh, 20 round Sten mags. A fun fact, you can tell it's a 20 rounder by the little brass tabs here. But yeah, it's a straight pull, I guess kind of like a, a Ross rifle, uh, you know, similar. So it's, it's, you know, it's like a bolt action, but just straight pull and it locks in there. It does come in at about 15 pounds. So uh, it, it's, a, it's a heavy beast. It is definitely, uh, I guess, cursed, you'd call it nowadays. Uh, kind of a steampunk look about it. Um, not, not a bad looking gun. So I, I built this gun before I had a, a lathe or a mill. So uh, this is all done with tap and die and Dremel and drill press. Uh, you obviously can see some steel square tubing as a receiver. I think it has a PPSH 16 inch 9 millimeter barrel that I just bought. It was already chambered and already the length. I just dropped that in. I'll let you get a little better look at the lines here. Um, like I said, I didn't have a mill or a lathe, so everything's um, tap and die. I never even bothered coating it. I think the, the butt pad, the, sorry, the shoulder stock came off a Springfield shotgun. Uh, let me turn around. You can see how the, uh, how the mag catches uh, for the magazine. There's the other side of it. Uh, kind of a Sten style you know, mag, mag catch and, uh, and ma uh, magazine housing. And of course, I think that's a set me uh, trigger group. Um, I, I modified it to fit in there and obviously took, took some of the parts out. Um, it does go all the way to full, but it is a, a bolt action gun, so that does not apply. I did load up some, some dummy rounds uh, in this magazine. I'll show you how the action works. But this is, this is how it works. You know, you would load around see that you'd shoot. Um, check it out. But that's how all that works. So let's take the range, put a couple rounds to it. You can see how it works in, uh, in action. Then we'll come back and uh, take it apart. Now, the, the first step to taking this thing apart, if I can remember right, like I said, it's been a while. I'll take these two uh, uh, screws out back here. I believe the shoulder stock's just come on out. And then I'll start to take apart the, the bolt handle here. So, so this part right here screws into the... Um, I guess the action bar and this part here has a, just has a set screw. And that's your, your bolt handle for working the action. Uh, I believe I take out these screws here and here, some more on the top. And the action should just come on out the barrel. Uh, I think. It's been a while. All right. That, that was a little more work than I thought it was going to be. Uh, some of the screws are pretty tight. I had to hit them with a the Dremel and get, a, um, get another screwdriver at them. But this part... Um, it's obviously the barrel here, and it rides up front in the receiver. And uh, this action bar that I talked about, you know, that works the works the action. It slides in here, and it rides in that hole. You can see how that works. Um, the bolt comes out the back. The barrel comes out the front. Um, reason being, there is an ejector uh, in there that will hit uh, hit this bolt. Take out that action rod. And now we have one gigantic bolt for a nine millimeter. Um, you can kind of see how those locking lugs work. There's a wedge on the front of this 
right here. And those two lugs, when you close the bolt, they expand out, come out of the bolt, come out of the bolt and protrude through these holes um, right here in the receiver. So that's how it all locks up. Inside there, see so you can probably see it in there. Uh, that's the ejector. Uh, it rides in this cutout right here and will kick the shell out, as you can see. Uh, my rudimentary, um, ex uh, I guess, extractor and a spring loaded firing pin back here in the back. And again, that's just an H and K or a set me trigger housing. So, you know, it, it's just got a hammer. I won't take that apart. No sense to showing how that works. I'll let you get a bigger look, better look at the magazine housing here. Again, uh, didn't have a, a mill or a lathe, so if it can be screwed together. I could screw it together. Uh, Probably broke a few taps there. I'm not going to take that apart because I'll probably never get it back together. Um, this right here is just a bracket to mount the uh, trigger housing. And there's that extractor that goes up inside the receiver. But that's just, just classic square tubing. Well, let me take the bolt a little bit more apart so you can see how those locking lugs work. So down inside there, if I can get the light right, those two bumps, those two things hitting each other, those are the locking lugs. And how to get them out... There's these little circular washers, um, if I can get it out here. That's what keeps them from flying out. And there's one of them. You can see that right there. Again, when you close the bolt, that little wedge on this part um, forces them out through the bolt and in the receiver. Now, sometimes when I shoot it, it looks like uh, the bolt handle comes back a little bit. I think there might be a little inertia. Uh, but I've never had any trouble of it, you know, flying back on me. But that's how that works. I believe I don't have to take out the other side to put it back together because you got to get that rod in there. But a little bit closer look at the, from all these parts. I put these in there, I guess, as, as a stopping point against the, I guess, the trunnion is what you'd call that. Um, but yeah. Um, you know, set your mind to it. I set mine to it, and I was able to make uh, to make this guy. I mean, it's it's not the most reliable. It does get hung up. Uh, the bolt handle, you know, it's it's a very awkward place to have it up front because it'll interfere with ejection. Uh, you know, if it's down low, the brass will hit it. So it'd have been better to have something, you know, back here. But uh, that's just the design I came up with 15 years ago. I hadn't messed this thing in a long time, but it's it still shot. So, but I hope I'm explaining it well. Uh, I don't have any notes on this gun of how and what I was thinking or why I built certain things certain ways. So um, your guess is about as good as mine. I said about 15 years ago. Uh, if you guys like stuff like this, uh, let me know. Leave a comment. If you got questions, uh, and of course subscribe. But uh, I'm gonna try to put this thing back together. I did uh, realize something. Putting it back together, you have to take the trigger housing out, or the bolt will catch on the back of the hammer. But that's just a classic um, H and K trigger group. I took a bunch of parts out again. You see, you know, it's got the whole selector nonsense that obviously uh, would not work in a bolt action gun. But yeah, you have to take this out to get the bolt back in because it'll catch on that hammer. Now the gun isn't very economical. I mean, when I, when I built this, I was more looking at function and less um, about um, you know comfort. So like the height the combs off. Um, you know, there's definitely a bunch of sharp edges on it. I was a little reluctant to even share this one. Uh, like I said, my other guns are definitely more polished, but, uh, I thought it was nice to, it's a neat design. I, I kind of got away from the straight pull design after this one, but there it is all back together. That was a, that was a little bit of work. Like I said, it, a lot of those screws were stuck in there, but, uh, yeah, neat, a neat little design. Uh, actually works, works better now that I got it took apart and back together. Um. Uh, yeah, it's definitely cursed. I won't let it live in the house. Um, but, uh, yeah, nice little uh, straight pull, homemade uh, uh, 9 millimeter. Uh, but, hey, I appreciate it, guys. Be safe. God bless. Thanks.